There are few mythological creatures that capture our imaginations quite like dragons. Across the globe, these massive winged lizards play prominent roles in fictional worlds, from ancient Chinese mythology to TV series like Game of Thrones. While dragons do not actually exist, it's possible that some real-world creatures did inspire our ancestors to dream about them. When you see this particular animal, for instance, it's easy to see just how true that may be. When a team of scientists known as Dragon Hunters explored an alpine lake, they didn't technically find a dragon. What they did find, however, was pretty darn close. Let's talk about Filmora, the best video editing software for beginners, alternative to Windows Movie Maker and iMovie. Filmora offers multiple tools to edit your footage. You can crop, zoom, apply color filters and animations, and much more. And Filmora comes with a bunch of pre-made text titles and free music that you can use in any of your videos. So make sure to download the best video editor by Wondershare. While most people today probably imagine dragons as having massive wings and spewing columns of fire from their mouths, a great deal of folklore has also described dragons of the aquatic variety. For example, in 1689, natural historian Johann Wickard von Velvasor wrote about water-based dragons in Balkan mythology. Some people even claimed to see these underwater creatures. They couldn't be real, right? Well, until recently, the truth behind these sorts of tales remained unanswerable. Luckily, some intrepid 21st century scientists wanted to get to the bottom of these myths. Literally. These mysterious creatures supposedly live in southeastern Europe's aquatic caves, deep inside the karst of the Dinaric Alps, which overlooks the Adriatic Sea. These creatures reportedly have been seen in Croatia, Italy, Slovenia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Croatia seemed like a good place to start. In 2017, a group known as Association Hyla gathered an international team of dragon hunters to set out to find some dragons. The team, which consisted of actual biologists and cave divers, began its search in a Croatian lake named Zagorska Pek. As you may expect, the divers had to dive deep down to have any chance of finding their dragons. Eventually, they got their first glimpse of what they came for and it was like anything else on Earth. The first thing they spotted was something that looked like a small eel. It had a thin cylindrical body that seemed to bend. Could it be what they had been looking for? As it just so happened, it was. What the divers had found was not an eel or even a dragon. In actuality, it was a single ohm, Proteus anguinus, a rare salamander species. Just one look and you can see how they were mistakenly identified as baby dragons. The existence of these creatures was first confirmed when Valvasor described them in the 17th century. Because of their pinkish skin, olms have also been called human fish and can grow up to 16 inches. With their handy gills, they breed and spend almost their entire lives underwater. Because of this, they possess sensory organs that allow them to survive and thrive in their dark habitats. They're actually almost completely blind and they have a layer of skin over their eyes. Olms get by just fine with their other senses though. They find organic compounds in the water with their mouths and noses and can hear noises and vibrations from long distances. They even have special organs to help them sense electromagnetic fields. Amazingly, Olms can live more than 100 years. Crabs, insects, and snails largely make up their prey, but they can actually survive for as long as 10 years without any food since they're able to lower their metabolic rate and store lipids and glycogen. They can survive at remarkably deep depths and pressures too. Study of the ohms in greater depths is extremely important, especially when done by divers focused on conservation, said biologist and Tuller Cave Laboratory head, Gregory Aljancic. Our previous findings indicate that Proteus can withstand significant pressure. Furthermore, the ohms that the dragon hunters were looking for at Zagorska Peck were found at a record depth of 370 feet. That's more than three times deeper than what would be considered acceptable for a recreational dive. In fact, the divers had to use hypoxic air tanks to offset the risk of oxygen toxicity and nitrogen narcosis. This was the deepest finding of the Ulm 
ever recorded, said expedition leader Petra Kovac Conrad. We also spotted specimens at many different depths in the lake, which confirms the assumption that depth of the water isn't the stress factor for the old. There are other environmental factors that affect the distribution of these salamanders. Owls prefer specific parts of the cave system with less stressful conditions, Kovac Conrad said, such as slower water flow or a bigger amount of sediment. Concerns over the state of the environment has driven further study of the olms, whose fragile habitats are being ruined by leached pesticides and fertilizers, as well as mercury and lead. Olms have been listed as threatened by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, as their numbers have been decreasing. Scientists are trying to learn as much as they can about these dragons before it's too late. This is easier said than done considering the amount of technology and diving skill needed to study them. Even so, the technology is catching up. Thanks to recent innovations in the DNA analysis of cave water, five new Ulm habitats have been discovered. The Proteus Project's Gurgly Balas believes that infrared technology should be used to study their behavior. Nonetheless, up until recently, captive Ulms have provided most scientific data. Amazingly, in 2016, they were bred in captivity for the first time. They only lay eggs once or twice every decade, so it's no small feat. Researchers soon found that adolescent ohms are territorial in nature, even having brotherly quarrels over food. It should also be noted that ohms are considered a symbol of Slovenian heritage. Only a few other countries, such as Indonesia with its Komodo dragons, have real-life dragons. So ohms are certainly special to people in their native countries. Ohms are absolutely amazing creatures that deserve to be treated like the precious wonders they are. They may not fly, breathe fire, or fight off white walkers like the dragons in Game of Thrones, for instance, but they're still worthy of their legendary status. Sailors used to mistake manatees for mermaids, so this isn't the first time that a real animal confused people into thinking they saw something make-believe. Whether or not you refer to Ohms as dragons, though, they're still fascinating. 